Ecological Outreach, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 248. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is a weekly progress update number 248, December 24th, 2017 edition. Today I'd like to talk about ecological outreach, because really One Community is an ecological outreach program and project. The idea is to create open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living, which covers all aspects of sustainability, taking the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and you can see housing, the housing aspect of our project happening in the background of the video right now, and combining that food, energy, and housing with what we've identified as the foundations of emotional sustainability, which are highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living practices, and models for truly stewarding the planet. We call it Earth Stewardship, and the idea is to consciously and conscientiously steward the planet to create a sustainable world that will benefit everybody. And we have designed this as an ecological outreach program by designing it so that the model can be put together as a complete model to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to reach out to local communities, global community, and invite people to participate. Everything open source and free shared so it can be replicated and it can be modified and adapted anywhere in the world and inviting people to participate so that as other people modify, adapt, improve upon everything that we're doing, everything that we're free sharing and open sourcing so that people can improve upon that and contribute it back as additional open source models and designs to improve upon and expand the complete global suite of options for people to build sustainable housing, to grow sustainable food and produce sustainable food, to produce sustainable energy, to produce sustainable and highest good education and economic models, all the different components that I just mentioned. Putting all that together as a teacher demonstration hub and building hubs around the world, working together as a global cooperative and collaborative to create a sustainable world for everybody. So this is what we're up to, you know, and we've had hundreds of volunteers at this point. We're an all-volunteer, all-unpaid, non-profit organization or a non-governmental organization. We're creating all of this because we want to live this way and we, because we believe that the world that most people really know is possible, like it's possible to create a world that works for everybody. And not way in the future, but it's possible to create that within our lifetime if we can create a self-replicating model. And so our idea is to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate the idea is attractive enough so that it spreads on its own. That's our foundation for ecological outreach. Easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough so the idea spreads on its own, so that people want what it is that we're creating. And so one community is meant to be a place that will provide a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And the outreach part will take care of itself. If we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own because people will want to live this way. And so our goal is to demonstrate that. And everything that we're creating is being replicated as either individual components or so it can be replicated as the complete model, the complete teacher demonstration hub. And the idea there is that ecological outreach isn't just about enrolling people in the idea of sustainable communities like eco-communities. It's really about providing something for everyone something for everyone. And so by developing everything that we're developing as either complete model to be used as either a complete model and implement as a complete model or as individual components, that's how we believe that we can provide something for everybody. People might not want to live in a sustainable community, but they could benefit from perhaps growing something that they've never grown before or from learning something about sustainable energy or from the open source education program that we des we've designed. And a sustainable community doesn't necessarily need to even be an eco community. It could be a community of parents coming together and using our open source education model. Or it could be a, an urban community coming together and growing a shared garden where everybody benefits from that. It could be the concepts of social architecture that we put together or the highest good economic models and implementing those in any environment. 
And so our idea of ecological outreach, as I've said before, is really to provide something for everybody and to make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so the idea spreads on its own. So each idea spreads on its own, not just the complete model. And then building one community as the open source prototype where people can come and visit and experience it, starting with 50 people and teaching how any 50 people could do this anywhere, exactly how much it's going to cost, what the labor expectations are going to be, all the problems that we ran into and the solutions to those problems and our suggestions for making it even better, providing that as an open source step-by-step -step tutorial and inviting people to come and participate so they can see it all and replicate it all or replicate any small piece of it, whatever it is that people want, or just have the experience of living in an earth bag structure, or living in a straw bale structure, or living in a shipping container structure, or a treehouse village, all of these different things that you see happening in the background of this video, then come and experience that, or just, just visiting firsthand the education program, all of which will be online and open source for free. People will be able to experience that, but if they want the hands-on experience, they'll be able to come to one community and get that. This is what we're doing. So with that said, let's check out one week of our team's progress accomplishments working towards this idea of ecological outreach, building all the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions. This is what we've been up to for the last week. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we researched exercise equipment ideas for the gym and continued the racetrack road design, as shown here. The core team also continued working on the Murphy Bed instructions, finishing the first 10% of page 6.88, table trim cutting, as shown here. In addition, the core team updated the Earthbag Village electrical design formatting and added the electrical details for the vermiculture bathroom designs. The core team also finished the complete compressed Earthblock Village materials cost analysis webpage. This included adding and editing all the content, images, menus, and more. You can see some of this work here, and the rest is live on the website, complete with links to all the open source spreadsheets used for our calculations. And the core team finished creating the thermal lag page by creating the header image and adding the final updates and edits to the main content. Heyman's Kotaru, structural engineering master's student, completed his 14th week with us doing research and running calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week's focus was an extensive review of existing thermal lag and earthbag construction resources, helping us rename them all, and then we added them to the website. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 67th week helping with the compressed earthblock village design and render details. This week's focus was this new render perspective for Zone 17. Aparna Tandon, architect, continued her work on the compressed earthblock village external elements. What you see here is her 41st week of work, finishing the design overview image for zones 12 and 18. This content is now live on the site also. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, also joined the team and completed her first week taking over the development of Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential designs. This week she updated the AutoCAD layout and fixed the walls and roofs to match the new floor plan. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished the first 30% of the LEED lighting tutorial details for the lighting design of the city center and all the other One Community structures. You can see some of this work here, and the rest is on the site. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering. What you see here are his calculations for the materials dead loads for the triangles that make up the domes themselves. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his sixth week helping with the HVAC designs for the duplicate city center. This week's focus was completing the second two of the three analyses for the indoor-outdoor natural pool impacts on the social dome. You can see some of this work here. Aruba Rabi, PhD, PE, and civil engineer 
continued working on the city center's structural engineering. This week's focus was importing and beginning the process of applying loads to the dome structures. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, continued with her 62nd week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was continuing the modeling of the mezzanine areas in the central area of the city center, as shown here. Satya Shravindran, senior mechanical and industrial engineer, completed his fifth week helping with the lead lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was double checking the bulb count, lumen, and wattage details on our spreadsheet for the entire city center, as shown here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued work on the formulas and data for the food calculations on the food self-sufficiency transition plan pages, bringing it to approximately 95% completion, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued adding to the education, evaluation, and evolution process open source pages and tutorials. This week, we created the formatting and began entering the content for the information maintenance and sharing page, which is about taking records of your learnings with you beyond the education program, as you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued the process of launching one community's Instagram page by adding 27 new images to the account, as shown here. Ashwin Patil, web developer, continued working on the search engines for the website. This week, we created version 2.0 of the highest good of all search engine. You can see some of this work in progress here. The highest good network software team consists of Samya Manohar, Priti Kotari, Shubra Mittal, and Priyanka Singh. This week, the team implemented modal controller and routes for project and team entities and performed unit test using Postman. They also created the query structure for dashboard leaderboard data using Promises Framework, completed the setup of the GitHub from Atom, and investigated role-based access and authentication. Well, there you have it. That is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards developing all the foundations for our ecological outreach prototype, which is one community. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything that we've talked about in this video, and so much more, visit our written blog, or you can just visit our website, cruise our website and check it out. There's an amazing amount of information there. We highly recommend it. Of course, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, or follow us on social media and get your updates, manage your updates that way. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, we are on LinkedIn, and about 15 to 20 other social media networks, whatever social media network you uh, enjoy, we are probably there. Look for one community and follow us that way. Uh, also, of course, thank you. Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the comments that we get. If you want the easiest way to help us out, support one community, go and like a bunch of our videos, go and like a bunch of our posts, uh, share our information. It's the easiest way to help us get the word out. We really do appreciate it. Visit our website. If there's anything there that you think is really amazing and that people should know about, put the word out, share it with others, help us out that way. It's a great way to support us. Of course, thank you for the donations that we get as well. Those make a big difference. We're 100% unpaid staff. I'm not paid for what it is that we're doing here. Neither is anybody else on our staff. So every dollar of every donation goes to forwarding our open source mission, supporting our website design and development and everything that's happening there, uh, infrastructure rather, and really just our annual fees and things like that. It really doesn't make a difference. So thank you for somebody that's donated to one community. And uh, of course, as the year is wrapping up here, thanks for being you.
thanks for being you and supporting in whatever way works for you. We appreciate it. Even if it's just thinking good thoughts about one community, we really do appreciate that and think that it makes a uh, difference. So uh, thank you. Until next week, of course, we will keep on keeping on.